All right, guys. Uh, today we'll be talking about calculating BM and KM. And for those of you who, who don't know what BM and KM is, uh, this should not be the first video you're watching in the video in the series of videos on ship stability. I have previously made a number of videos on ship stability, and you should be watching them in series. Uh, and I'll give you the links to those videos in the description section below. So make sure that this is not the first video you're watching. So you should, if you only have been watching all my previous videos, then you should be watching this. Uh, for those of you who have been watching this, I'll give you a quick recap of what BM and KM is and how can we calculate it. So look at the figure here that I've drawn. And since it's a recap, I've drawn a, a small figure here. Uh, this is a ship that is in an upright position with the center of gravity is acting downwards and the center of buoyancy is acting upwards. And this is an upright vessel where a vessel is on even keel and uh, the keel is denoted by the letter K here. On your uh, right hand side, the second figure here uh, is a ship that has healed. Uh, healing takes place due to natural conditions like winds or waves. It does not involve shifting of weights. And when the vessel heals, because there is no shifting of weights, only the center of buoyancy shifts from its position. And that center of buoyancy uh, acts upwards intersects the uh, the line which divides the ship the center line of the ship uh, it intersects it at a position m and that is the meta center so the distance from the center of buoyancy to the meta center is bm and the center of the and the distance from the keel to the meta center is km and today we'll be learning how to calculate bm and km all right so i'll be taking a few different examples uh, and showing you and then in the next video I'll also show you how to draw the KM curves so let's start with this this is normally at the level of uh, second mates and third mates who are preparing to become chief officers uh, so you should have some basic knowledge of ship stability and that is why I recommend you watching the previous videos so let's start with the first question the first question says that uh, there is a box shaped barge uh, and the dimensions of length breadth, and depth is given uh, the draft is given as 6 meters, kg is 8 meters, and you have to find the km and the gm. Alright, so let's start with the solution. So the, when the draft is given as 6 meters, uh, based on the formula of a kb for a box shaped vessel is equal to half the draft. So for a box shaped vessel, kb can be found by dividing the draft by 2. So in this case, 6 divided by 2 is 3 meters. So this becomes the KB of the box shaped vessel. Alright. Then we have to find BM. So basically what we are trying to do is to find KM. We are finding KB and then BM and then we'll add the two together to find KM. As you can see from the above diagram. To find BM, we'll use the formula B square divided by 12D where B is the breadth of the vessel. Alright and d is of course the draft of the vessel and these formulas are available in ship stability books so just uh, put in the values of the b square and divided by 12 times draft uh, you get the bm value of 8.680 to calculate km then you all have to do is add kb plus bm kb that you've calculated before and then add the bm you will get km as 11.680 Finally, you have been given kg in the question as 8 meters. Gm will be equal to km minus kg. So km of 11.680 and kg of 8 meters. To find gm, you will always subtract it. So gm equals 3.680 meters. All right, that's the first question. Pretty straightforward and simple one. The next question is again, it's a box shaped vessel. The dimensions of the box shed vessel are given to you. This time the box shed vessel is displacing 1476 tons. That's the displacement of the vessel. And this displacement is denoted by W, a capital W. You have to find the KM of the box shed vessel when the vessel is floating in seawater or salt water. Or salt water density is 1.025 is the salt water density. All right, so if, uh, like I said before, if you have been watching all my videos on ship stability, I know that you are familiar with all these things. Uh, I don't have the time to explain each and every term every time. So that is why I recommended that you guys watch the previous videos. 
because I'm assuming you have watched that and you have a basic knowledge of shape stability. All right, so displacement denoted by W is also calculated by multiplying the underwater volume by density. The underwater volume of the vessel can be calculated by the length by breadth by draft. All right, so not the depth, but the draft. So the underwater volume refers to the volume of the vessel, which is under the water. And that is why draft of the vessel is important, not the depth of the vessel. All right, so length and breadth, of course, and then the draft come into play and then multiplied by density. So in this case, the length and the breadth are given to you 45 by 8. The displacement is given to you. The density is given to you, but it's the draft that's missing. All right. So to find draft, of course, you will keep the unknowns to one side and knowns to the other. So this equation then becomes draft equals 1476 divided by 45 by 8 by 1.025, which gives you a draft of 4 meters. Now, as shown previously, KB can of a box shaped vessel is nothing but draft divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 meters. That's your KB. BM, as I showed you before, is calculated by the formula B squared divided by 12D. B squared is 8 multiplied by 8, as you can see in the question, and 12 by 4. D is the draft, 8 is the breadth. You get the BM of 1.333 meters. Simply to add to find the Km in seawater, you add Kb and Bm that you have found before. 2 plus 1.333 gives you 3.333 meters. Then we move on to the third question. And again in this case here, it's a box-shaped barge or a box-shaped vessel. Dimensions are given to you. The draft is also given to you this time and it's a seawater draft. That means when the vessel is floating in seawater, that's the draft you have to find the km in relative density 1.015 all right so the seawater draft is given to you but you have to find the km when the vessel is in the relative density 1.015 so rd stands for relative density again displacement denoted by w is equal to underwater volume multiplied by density in this case the length and the breadth is given to you the draft is given to you in seawater and so is the density of seawater is known to you so the displacement in seawater is 8444.852 if you multiply the above components together. So that's the displacement. All right. Now in water of relative density 1.015, the displacement of course of the ship remains the same. So the weight of the ship remains the same. That's the displacement. But because of the changing density, the draft will change. So normally as the density increases, draft decreases. If the density decreases, draft should increase. All right, so the length and the breadth of the vessel will not change. It remains the same. The density is, of course, the new relative density. And the draft is what is unknown to us. So because the weight of the vessel remains the same, we use the same displacement. Length and breadth will remain the same. Draft is the constant or the unknown rather. And the density is given to us. So if we keep the known to the one side and unknowns to the other, draft will be equal to, as per the equation written here, and you will get 8 meters of draft. This is the draft. And this is the draft in relative density 1.015. The rest of the question is again similar to previous. KB for box shaped barge can be found by dividing draft by 2. In this case 8 divided by 2 gives you 4 meters. BM can be found by the formula B square by 12D where B is the breadth of the vessel and D is the draft. Put in the values of the breadth and the draft and you will get the BM as well. Km again as previously shown is equal to Kb plus BM. Put the values together you get the Km of 8.167. Let's move on to the fourth question now. In this case again it's a box shaped vessel. The length and the breadth of the box shaped vessel is given to you and it's floating at 8 meters seawater draft so the draft is given to you as well. You have to find the Km in seawater as well as in fresh water. So seawater density is 1.025 and freshwater relative density is 1. So to find the Km in seawater first, use the draft is 8 meters 
KB of the box shaped vessel is formed by draft divided by 2. In this case, KB is 8 divided by 2, which is 4 meters. The BM can also be found by the formula B square by 12D, where B is the breadth of the vessel. The breadth is given to you. Draft is known to you. It's 8 meters. Put in the values and you will get the BM as well. KM in seawater, in this case, becomes KB plus BM. 4 plus 6 equals 10 meters. All right. So let's start with calculating the freshwater KM now. So to do that, let's find the displacement in seawater first. So the displacement in seawater is 18 multiplied by 24. That is length multiplied by breadth multiplied by draft multiplied by density is equal to 35424 tons. Displacement will remain the same. It's the weight of the vessel. It's only the draft that changes with change in the density. So in this case, 35424 as previously shown equals 18 by 24 multiplied by draft which is unknown freshwater draft and this is the freshwater density so this is freshwater density which is 1 so keep your knowns to one side taking the unknown to the other your draft in freshwater then becomes 35424 divided by 18 by 24 by 1 which is 8.2 meters is the draft in freshwater Again, KB of a box shed vessel can be found by dividing draft by 2. So 8.2 divided by 2 is 4.1 meters. BM is B squared by 12D. The B square remains the same. It's only the draft that changes. And you get the BM as 5.854. So KM in fresh water will be equal to KB plus BM in fresh water, which is equal to 4.1 divided plus 5.854, which is equal to 9.954 in fresh water. Finally, the last question, and again the last question here deals with a box shaped vessel. So you have to find the GM of a box shaped vessel. The length of breadth is given to you. So length by breadth is given to you. It is a float at 10 meters seawater draft. So the draft is given to you as well. It's seawater, so the density is known as 1.025. Kg is given to you. You need kg. So you can subtract it from KM to find the GM. And in this case, free surface moment is given to you as well. Now, again, like I said, if you don't know what free surface moment is, you should be watching my previous videos on free surface moment and free surface correction. Free surface moment gives you a listing moment. And that happens due to shift of the cargo or shift of weights on the vessel. It could be because of uh, uh, slack uh, tanks as well. So when the tanks or ballast tanks in the water uh, in the on the ship is slack due to the shifting of the liquid, uh, free surface moment is created. Basically, it's a listing moment. Anyhow, I'll continue with the solution, assuming that you guys have watched my previous videos. So in this case, displacement will again equal to length by breadth by draft multiplied by density in seawater, which gives us a displacement of 22140 tons. The draft of 10 meters is given to us. This is in seawater draft. So KB will be equal to, it's a box shed vessel, draft by 2 or 10 by 2, which is equal to 5 meters. The free surface moment is given to us as 2000 tons meter. Free surface correction in that case is calculated by dividing free surface moment by displacement. Free surface moment is given to us. Displacement was calculated above and it gives us 0 0.090 meters. BM again is calculated by the formula B square by 12D. B square is given to us or it's a B which is the breadth is given to us. So 18 by 18 divided by 12 times draft which is given to us again. And we get the BM as well as 2.7 meters. So KM again equals KB plus BM. So KB is 5 plus 2.7 of BM equals 7.7 .7 meters of KM. KM is 7.7 .7 meters. KG is given to us in the question as 6.9. So you will subtract KG from KM to find GM solid. So this is GM solid that is before free surface correction. Then you apply the free surface correction. So free surface correction is always negative reduces the GM and the final GM or the GM fluid after reducing the free surface correction is 0 0.710 meters. All right. So again, I hope these videos or these questions were useful to you. And once again, I, uh, I repeat myself that you should be watching all the previous videos as given in the description section below first to get a basic knowledge of ship stability. 
before you watch this video this video is only for advanced students who are preparing to become chief officers on ships all right so i hope this video was useful to you please let me know through your feedback on how you find these videos and thank you very much for subscribing keep subscribing to get notification about my future videos and all the best with your studies i'll see you soon with my next video on kn curves